No, so you're in a position right now that you don't yes. believe whether your father is your real father. Ah, but that doesn't matter. Okay. That you're, doesn't really... That doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. No, it doesn't matter. So if your mother has sex behind your father's back, you've got a problem. Oh, it depends right. if it was consensual or not. <laughs> if it was consensual, it's fine. Really? Right? These people you take your information from who are academics, do they believe in the supernatural as Yes, and I, and I don't think they necessarily have to, you don't have to, because you don't have to. Because, it, because the point about belief is that it's a personal thing. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, well, belief is a personal thing. You think so? Yeah, of course. Of course yeah. so. uh, well, I, I, I think it. Oh, I believe oh, oh, okay. it. So, I believe that belief is a personal thing. All right. Shoot me. Okay. What does belief mean? Uh, it means to hold an opinion about the way that reality is and how reality is structured. Why not? There we go. That's a, that's a oh, very oh, oh, reasonable claim. Oh, okay. Is that an objective understanding of the word belief or your own made-up one? Uh, well, it's what the one that I believe in. All right, so there's no objective meaning of the word belief? Uh, well, given that language is you know, transient throughout time and that belief changes in meaning throughout time, like saying there's an objective meaning of anything is actually very difficult without, okay. so, without actually a reference frame of belief right. which is provided by things like religion. So here, so here today in London, England? Yes. What's the objective understanding of the term uh, belief? Ah, uh, what I've just said. Because it's, it's, it's for me, it's for me to decide. Right. Can a belief without proof be true? Um, no, because it's a belief. Really? Yeah. You don't believe a belief without proof could be true? Uh, yes, I believe because it's still a belief. It's not fact. Oh, fact, oh, and, oh, oh, oh. fact and belief. You're, you're confusing fact and belief. You're making them the same. No, They're not. I, I think you are misunderstanding the word belief. Uh, right, because you're saying that belief is fact? Do you believe your father's your father? Uh, well, I have no idea. I just have to take him on trust. Do you believe it or not? Well, I just have to take it on trust. No, it doesn't do, matter whether I believe it or not. Do I just you believe take it or not? Trust. I, I think it and I am... And I trust my I trust my parents. So yes, I suppose I. But you have no I proof. Suppose I believe it. Well, I have no no, proof. Well, I haven't done a DNA test. So you got I, no but, proof. I, but I could do a DNA well, test. Well, we haven't though. But I no, not yet. Because right, I trust. Right. Them. So right now you don't know if your father's your yes. father. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Well, do I don't you know believe if you're certain. Father? I don't know for certain. But do you believe he is? Uh, yes. But does it does it matter? No, no. no well, so I don't you use just, I don't use my. No, but you just said. But you just said that belief without proof can't be true. So you have no proof your father's your father. So you're now saying you believe your mother may have messed about. Ah, uh, yes, but you're you're making the assumption. That's what that, you're saying now. Ah, uh, well, well, that's a that's a very very great assertion. I have no idea what she's at university. If I'm honest, but you know we'll have to see. Right. Um, so so right now, so you're in a position right now that you don't yes. believe whether your father is your real father. Ah, uh, but that doesn't matter. Okay. That you're, doesn't really. That doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. No, doesn't matter. The thing is, is that I don't base my entire right, right. my entire system of system of, of morality and um, worldview is not in, your worldview is not based on whether your father's your father no of course not like really? why would it be i don't why take my uh, i don't know if you I, found I, out your father was not your father uh, it might well it, it might do but it wouldn't it wouldn't change how like like he he still he still raised me whether or not he's my biological father or not. Uh, uh, well probably not but can you guarantee you know i think that's no, a perfectly no, no, reasonable no, thing the point to say. here is this if a belief without proof, you just said a belief without proof can't be true where i believe your father is probably probably your father yeah, I don't need. I don't need you. Be, I don't need you to do a DNA test. Be, it can't be. But you believing that and it being true, right? No, but it not could like, be true. Uh, yeah, yeah. But just because it could be true doesn't mean it is true. Did you say what? And that's the yes. Because the thing is, is I didn't say. Using, I didn't say that. You're did using. I? Yeah, yeah. But you are using it as that. Actually. No, no. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh. I said that. Could you're I, I you're said, using a situation no. which you're basically what you're doing. So you're taking a situation which is factually true, as in like. It's not factually true. Well, okay. If I take a DNA test, you haven't done the DNA test, so it's not factually true. Right. Well, let me let me just say. Let me just take a DNA test. Really quick. No, but you haven't done it. But you haven't. My, let me you haven't though, but you haven't. Okay, I've taken DNA. So it's not factually true. My dad. So it's not factually um, true. What you're doing so is, not is, you're, true. is you're using the idea that true, if, if I believe something I, that is already that I already know to be true, right? But you don't know it to be true. But I could prove it. You could. You might, my point is, I can't. You prove, might be disproven. Uh, you can't. But I can't. You, you might can't be disproven. That. I could. I would. I be. You could be. I could be. Right. And maybe that's something. So I here's the reality: be. is this? But you do believe your father's your father. I, I don't think it matters whether I believe it or not. It doesn't matter if you believe your father's no, your father. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Why? Well, because. Uh, why would it? Why would it matter? Why, why would it matter raised, whether your father your father? What it would mean? Your mum's a tart, wouldn't it? Wow, that's a, that's the. Well, that's what it would mean, wouldn't it? Only if you. Is that only, not what it means? Only. That's, that's not what that means. Only. Oh, sorry, 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 only. Sorry. Only. Only. Well, this is if my your father. Uh, hang if on. your father. That's well, that's a very derogatory no, 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 term. No, no. And also, if you're a woman, is she oh, not oh, free oh, to do whatever she wants? Yeah, exactly. It's her body. Yeah. To all right, all right. This is a, a, a science ownership. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of problems with this now. I'll take that to the test. Oh, do you? If you don't believe your sorry, if you if you don't believe your father's your father, that means your mother. You believe your mother was a loose woman and slept with a loose woman again. Oh, with the sexist. With the sexist the terms. No problem. Ah, uh, loose women is, is so you know, definitely you know, derogatory. So if your mother has sex behind your father's back, you've got a problem. 
Oh, it depends no. if it was consensual or not. <laughs> if it was consensual, it's fine. Really? It's if it's consensual, it's fine. Really? She's allowed to do whatever she so wants. You, honestly, no, are you is that your position? That that you're I, what is your position? Control. Is your position that women should, women should be controlled? I, 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 I believe men and women in a relationship should be faithful to one another, yes. Oh, that's very wholesome. That's very wholesome. I think it's fantastic. Nice. Yeah, it's nice. But I think that's that, why. See, because what happens is. I'll tell you why. What do you think about polyamory? Is it because of God? Should I explain why? Should I explain why? Because 70% of people in prison are from broken homes, yeah? And extramarital affairs is what break up homes. I mean, I don't So you should have a problem with extramarital affairs because they destroy lives. I think. I think poverty is probably a bigger driver than like the, the broken homes comes from things like poverty. No, and like all no, kinds of, of things. I'll tell you what break up because people because like a lot of very well. Shall I tell you what breaks up homes? Will stay married even even though they had, even though they I'll know tell you five things have, that break up homes. Let me finish first. And that, so I think there are a lot of things that, that break up homes. I think the main one is like is, is financial five. pressure. Go on, give me five then. Go on, listen. Drugs, on. alcohol, yeah. gambling, sexual immorality, yeah. and uh, interest. Sexual immorality. Right, we'll, we'll put that to one side. Why? I think because the thing is, is sexual immorality is something is like a using the word immoral, immoral right, requires yes. requires me to subscribe to your system of morality. No. And yes, society's uh, morality. Uh, Oh, okay. Because that but is your morality. No, no, society. No, 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 no. no. Yes, 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 Everyone yes. has an individual morality. No, you, you think you do. Everyone. No. You're a product of your environment, my friend. Uh, well, yes, that's true. And you're a product of your environment. The point is, is that we're, we're both, we both come no, from... No, but my morality is not from this environment. Uh, so how is your morality not from this environment? My, my morality is, is objective morality. Your morality is objective morality based on the word... Obviously what I believe as a Muslim. What yes. you believe as a Muslim. So your morality is conditional based on your beliefs, which of course are conditioned based on what society has given you. Because otherwise you wouldn't be... No, if, no, no, if no, you, no. So no, you're no, saying no. you were all Always, were you always a Muslim? Sir? Of course not. Well, there we go then. What do you mean? Like, where we go? Because the point is, is that like until you converted as a result of societal I, oh, forces, I, I as a result of societal forces, then you adjusted your morality, right? And even societal even forces wasn't that different my morality. Well, because societal forces obviously like shape your morality. Why did I become a Muslim? Why did you become a Muslim? No, why did I? I don't know. Because you, assume, know. you seem to be assuming a lot of things. Uh, I'm not assuming. Well, I'm not assuming anything, sir. I'm assuming you converted. No, you're assuming morality assuming, has something to do with becoming a Muslim. I, no, I'm not assuming that. I'm you assuming did? no. I'm assuming, well, I'm assuming that you converting. Right had something behind it. The only thing I assumed was your, was your conversion. No, you, you we talk about morality. Yes. And I, and I agree with you. I agree with you. Before I became a Muslim, my morality was also subjective. Because and now I had, your morality be, is objective. Objective, yes. But the point is, it's only objective in your frame of reference where you believe in... Obviously. ...in, in your thing. But well, it's my so morality. The point is, but well, but exactly, yours is subjective. And my, but mine is subjective, and mine's not necessarily dependent on society. It's, ne it's necessarily no, no. dependent on the... Because you're as, as, as assuming that because... Let me ask you a simple question. What yeah. do you think about homosexuality? I think it's fine. Fine. 50 years ago, your answer would be completely different. Yeah, I agree. Why? Well, because it probably wasn't acceptable then. What changed? Um, society. Not you. But also, well, no, also me. Because the thing is, I could have been born 50 years ago, and I also might have think, thought homosexuality was fine, as a lot of people did back no, then. No, the reality is, the way, the way you're talking now, that you think it's fine for your mother to have an affair behind your father's back because she's a free woman, that tells me, a, well, that, 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 that tells me you're in a millennial generation and Ooh. you think this is cool now. Now, 50 Ooh. years ago, 50 Ooh, years man. ago. Wow, that's a lot of assumptions you make right there. 50 years ago, I look very young. homosexuality was illegal. Uh, well, it depends where you were, but yes, in, in, in most, pla in in most places. But it did, it did. You couldn't have anal sex with your wife uh, 50 years ago. Did, but it did, done, but it, 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 it was illegal. You, you just couldn't tell people. But it was illegal. But you things being, but things being. Things are illegal that loads of people do. Like everyone, like the point is, everyone does. But it's not moral, is it? But that's your morality. Your morality. And we don't have to care no, no, about no, what your no, morality is. No, I have objective morality. No, you have the why, point, why only objective for you. Why the point is, is no, only... No, 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 for me, yes. Yes, and yours is and I don't have to listen to your morality. Right, so, so when the we point put is, sexual so morality... So going back to the original list, point, going back to the original, when we original put sexual point, because we've gone on a tangent because because we have Let's go back to the original point. Right. Putting sexual immorality The original point is this. The principle that I established, that a belief can be true without proof, because I don't need you... It can be. It doesn't mean it is. Excuse me, sir. Do not I don't need you. Well, it was an accident. Okay, You're well, going like this. I'm going like this. Well, okay, we might we'll touch in the we'll middle. Yeah. Right. I, right. Right. I'll say it to you again. Yes. All right. You don't need to prove to me with a DNA test that your father's your father. Because I'm pretty sure you can bring the the, the uh, character of your mother to the table. I'm pretty sure you can bring the family testimony to the table. I'm pretty sure you could bring subjectivity and I look like him, have his mannerisms and such to the table. Now, if I want to no, listen, just listen very carefully. So. For me, your belief in your father being your father could well be true, but you don't believe it could be true. I don't know. But the point is, hang on, hang on, sir. But the point is, the, the point, the point is, the point is, sir. That, hang on, the point is, sir. Just because something can be true, and this is very important. Yes, I believe. Just because, just because something. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Christian, let's do Christianity. He's an atheist. Well, actually, you're a sheep. Why are you assuming? I'm not actually an atheist. 
Are you Christian? <laughs> no, I'm uh, actually. Um, uh, what's the host? Oh, 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 what's the one you're not sure? Agnostic. 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 Yeah, yeah. Is it on the phone? Do you believe in a creator? Uh, no, probably not. Anyway, uh, the point is that uh, you don't believe in a creator. Just because. Hang on, let me finish. Just because something can be true, and this is very important for everyone here. Just because something can be true, does not mean it is. I and that is the end of that. Thank you very much, sir. You've been wonderful. And very nice to see you. Yeah, very nice to see you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. So that Um <laughs> he started off the same old, same old adage: uh, atheist stands, agnostic stands, wherever it may be. They think belief is something abstract when it clearly isn't. It's just accepting something to be true without proof. I.e., you believe your father's your father. Don't need DNA tests. You've got subjective uh, reasoning, family testimony, and such. Then he went off on a millennial tangent. Didn't have a problem about his mum messing around behind his father's back. If she wants to do it, it's free. She's a free woman. Anyway, subhanAllah. That's why they need objective morality, not subjective morality. Because when you have objective morality, you don't bow down to man's whims. You follow God's whim. You follow God's guidance. Alhamdulillah. Yeah? So the point here is this. Same old, I've been in the park, I've been away since November, and I come back, and it's the same old, oh, same old, same old. Atheists thinking they have some intellectual, logical, reasonable, higher ground, and what do they end up doing at the end of all the time? Emotional wrecks. Salam alaikum.